Coolest thing about my dad is that he always plays catch with me because it's my favorite game. Doug is a man of, uh, of integrity and he shares that. You know, the, the importance of, of being honest, being kind, um, admitting mistakes, learning from failures. Uh, that's all part of the maturation process for kids. And I watch him raising his kids that way. And it's consistent with the way I want to raise my kids. And uh, that's important for us to make sure that we're interacting uh, with, with people that share our ideals and, and philosophies and approach towards parenting. And I admire the approach that he has and displays. Having a, a goal of, of balance or putting your, your family first can, can be a challenge, but if you, you make it a priority and you schedule around it uh, and do your best and, and have people that, that know that's what you're trying to do, uh, at the same time you have to maintain your responsibility in your business and in your career. It's definitely achievable, but it, it'll keep you busy and you'll, you uh, certainly won't get eight hours of sleep a night. One of the unique qualities about Doug and being a father is that I think it's his most favorite thing in life. I think the moment the boys were born, he, um, he looked at that as a tremendous blessing and just a gift. And he has just been engaged in every part of their life um, since, you know, since they were born. And he, to watch his face, you get so much joy out of talking to them, out of participating in, in what goes on in their lives. And um, he's a tremendous support to them, and he's fun for them. He's just a fun dad to be around, and he loves doing what they love to do. Um, really, they're his favorite hobby. The, the father-son relationship is, is very unique, and it is very special. And I think uh, something that I've learned from my three sons yeah, and I'm still working on is is being patient and and listening, and uh, they have a lot to say, and uh, there's really no better better thing that I think a dad can do than than to really listen and uh, and find out what they like to do as much as you try to influence it, and then participate with them in it. My favorite memory uh, that I did with three of us and my dad that. We went up to Alaska and we fished there for about a week and a half and we had a lot of fun and we caught a bunch of fish. Doug is really a master at uh, prioritizing things and I think that's why he's always been so successful in business and I think that's why he's such a great dad as well as a great husband. He really prioritizes faith and family first. And he really sets boundaries, very, you know, strong boundaries around our time together as a family. Here comes Tillman across the water. I think he's one of those dads who will never regret um, that he didn't spend enough time with his kids when he was, when they were younger. He, I think he'll always look back and know that he gave 110%. He's just always, he's very present in their lives. When I go to bed, he always reads me bedtime stories, so I won't be afraid of monsters like I do normally. Well, I think from, from my family, I've learned the importance of, of family and how important it is to, to be there and, and make time and, and carve special time out for your family. And, and that's definitely something that I've learned growing up and something we've tried to do in our family as best we can. My dad took me to a trip to Notre Dame, and I, I wasn't a big fan of it, and I didn't really like them. So I was going there, I wasn't expecting it to be all fun, but he showed me around, and we got real close together, and I, I really like Notre Dame now, and I think that's where I want to go to college. There's nothing that surprises me about how good a father that Doug is, but what always does surprise me is how he can manage to just squeeze out a little bit more time, make a little bit more room, do a little bit more um, for one of our boys. He has such a full plate um, with work and all of his uh, service organizations that he's involved with. So it does, it surprises me constantly that he can make it work and find the time and he always manages to do it beautifully. Balance is, is a tough thing between business and family and if your definition of balance is is work eight hours sleep eight hours play eight hours then I, I would fail at that definition of balance but if it was having your priorities right and having your your family come first and before your business and having a great partner and support in my wife Angela then we've been pretty good because uh, our family has always come before business or, or other career type opportunities for us 
Doug is a wonderful father for the time that he puts into being a good dad, for the time that he puts in to spend with his children, uh, for, for the ideals that he tries to educate his children uh, with, and, and I think also for not being afraid to hug his children or kiss his children or pick them up when they you know, scrape their knee in front of others. And you know, he, he expects it back from them. And they, it's the open communication, the, um, the willingness to, to deal with, with tough times and tough subjects. It's an important trait, and, and he, he gets it. He's got it. I think what makes Doug so special as a father, too, is that he has just as much fun curled up reading Oh, the Places We'll Go with Sam, our littlest, um, as he does, you know, out having a great game of catch with the older boys. Um, he loves to, you know, just sort of know what's going on in their head, and he's always so concerned about, you know, how they're doing. Are they handling the stress of school well? Are they enjoying their sports? Um, and he's also, he's just a great role model for the boys too because he really shows them, I think, what life is about, putting faith and family first. It means a lot for me to be in, involved with the ADA and the focus that they have on diabetes and how it affects our, our country and our community. And uh, to be able to, to help in this way and what they do through this award and bringing people together and bringing families together to raise money for something that's so worthy and, and so curable and preventable is something I'm very, uh, very happy to be a part of. Congratulations, Dad. We love you.